We're at the Civic Center Lagoon on Friday, February, uh, excuse me, January 25th, and we're watching a river otter come for lunch. There he goes, up and down. Here he comes. He just had a some kind of a crawdad or a snail. Now he's going to come up on the land. Here he comes. He's crawling up, and uh, he's going to have his lunch. Beautiful little animals. River otter. I don't know. He's been eating like some kind of snails or something. The juvenile. Somebody Just a beautiful. The oh, they eat like crazy. <laughs> See his bubble trail. There he goes. He's right near the outlet of the. Uh... See the bubble trail right where the uh, fountains come in. A lot of fish hang out here because it's very oxygenated water. And there he is. Or she. Just beautiful, beautiful animal. So sleek. Big whiskers like a cat almost. But they're actually related to weasels. Well, he's gone down for a good long... Oh, there he is. He's over here now. This didn't take him but just a second to grab a mouthful of air, and then he goes back down. And here he comes again, and there he goes. If he catches something, he'll come up onto the shore. Here he comes. He's got something to eat. There he goes. He's going to climb up here on the rocks, hang out for a minute. Look how long and thick that tail is. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, there he is. I'm sorry, Mr. Otter. I scared him. There he goes. Darn it. Scared him away. They are very, uh, Pretty bold animals. They don't particularly seem to be shy at all around people. I get up regularly within just a foot or two of them when they're on the shore. And um, uh, there he goes. Now he's going up into the bushes and he's going to hang out. Now these kids are going to scare him right back down into the into the water, probably. But. We'll see if he comes back out, or maybe he's just had enough to eat and he's going to rest for a while. Yeah, I think he's going to uh, rest for a while and uh, chill out. Or actually, not chill out, but warm up. <laughs> 